Welcome back, guys. All right, guys, so here's the, the next lesson in our, in our derivatives, derivatives unit uh, for calculus. So the, the first topic we did was we call it the formal definition of a limit, or sometimes we call that first principles, and that's using formula one or formula two to figure out um, a derivative. The next thing we learned was called the power rule. And that was definitely a much bigger shortcut than you had to use first principles every time. And then in the next one, we used the product rule was the previous lesson. And, and now, so we're gonna, if, you're, if you're dividing two functions, we need to have a rule which we call um, the, the quotient rule. Okay. So this one that I'm going to prove to you guys. Okay? So through this, I'm going to start by multiplying both sides of this equation times g of x and canceling out like this. So that means we have big F of x times g of x equals little f of x. What we're going to do is we're going to take the derivative of both sides of this equation. So I'm going to go like this, and then like this. So now here, this is a product, right? So this is the product rule. So we have to go first, second prime, big f of x, g prime of x, plus second, first prime, g of x, f prime of x equals little f prime of x like this okay so what we're trying to do is we're trying to get the derivative of big f of x which is this guy over here so i'm just going to isolate for this guy um let's subtract this guy over here so we have g of x f prime of x equals f prime of x minus f of x g prime of x and then if we divide everything by g of x we get this. Okay. Now, what we're going to do next is, if we look back to our original, we had f of x equals little f of x over g of x. Well, we have a big f of x here, and I'm going to make this substitution like this. All right, so I have to continue this over here. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to divide this guy over here. So we have um, we have f prime of x over g of x uh, minus f of x g prime of x over g of x squared. So I have g of x divided by g of x there. Next step, I want to be able to add these two or subtract these two fractions together. So I'm just going to go multiply the top and the bottom by g of x here. So we have f prime of x equals f prime of x g of x minus f of x g prime of x. So I guess getting all over the place, all over g of x squared. Okay. So sorry guys, I'm just going to finish this on the next screen over here. So here's what our, our, pro, our quotient rule is. So if y equals f of x, g of x, I'm using y instead of a big f of x over here, but the same thing. Um, here is what we kind of came up with for our, our, our quotient rule, okay? Now, here's the way I have this one memorized. I'm gonna call this guy the top function, and this is the bottom function. So it is bottom, top, prime. So the bottom function is g of x, top function prime, minus top, bottom prime, all over bottom squared. And guys, you're going to say this enough times that you will have this one memorized, and it's a really easy way to be able to remember what the quotient rule is. Okay? All right. Differentiate y equals 2x minus 4 x plus 5. So we have bottom top prime minus top bottom prime all over bottom squared. So that means y prime equals the bottom x plus 5 is the bottom function. Top prime is just 2 minus top over bottom prime, the derivative of x plus 5 is just 
is just one. And over x plus 5 squared. Okay, let's clean this up. Just going to multiply this through here. So we have 2x plus 10 minus 2x plus 4 all over x plus 5 squared. 2x minus 2x is 0. 4 plus 10 is 14. And we get y prime equals 14 over x plus 5 squared. All right. <clears throat> Same idea over here. We have y prime equals bottom top prime minus top bottom prime over bottom squared. Okay. So y prime equals bottom function. Times derivative of the top. 3x squared minus 4x minus top. Bottom prime is 6x minus 4 all over bottom squared. Okay. All right. We have quite a bit of work to go and clean this guy up. We need to be able to expand out the top and collect all of the like terms. So we get nine x to the fourth Sorry guys, pen is not working great right now. 9x to the fourth minus 12x cubed minus 12x cubed plus 16x squared plus 6x squared minus 8x minus. Six x to the fourth minus four x cubed minus twelve x cubed plus eight x squared nine x to the fourth minus six x to the fourth is three x to the fourth negative twelve minus twelve is negative twenty four Minus negative 4 is negative 20. Minus negative 12 is negative 8. 16 plus 6 is 22. Minus 8 is 14x squared. We still have this minus 8x here. And guys, we're just going to leave this answer like this. Just like that. Okay. So we'll leave this one over here. And there is our derivative of this guy over here. Nasty one to go calculate over here, guys. I think one of the things that you'll find in this course is that once you learn the rule, the rule is pretty simple like that, right? Okay, no, really, bottom top prime minus top bottom prime over bottom squared. It just the uh, it just it's, you kind of learn that rule, okay? But just the the algebra can get pretty pretty gnarly sometimes, okay? So it just um, Often what you see is like you, you see people who know exactly what to do. They just kind of like make a mistake in the algebra along the way. Okay. So just be kind of careful when you're multiplying this through, guys. Um, I tend to make mistakes all the time. I'll drop a negative or multiply something incorrectly like that, you know, and it just um, – the way I do this stuff, guys, it's, it's kind of tough when you're teaching this stuff because you're 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 thinking about what you're doing, what you're doing next while you're doing something, and just I, I tend to make mistakes while I'm doing that sometimes. Okay, um, but really, guys, yeah, this, this is kind of it. Okay, um, example three, we've seen questions similar to this. Um, find the equation of the line tangent to the curve at a certain point. Okay, so 
strategy, we need to figure out the slope passing through this point over here. And we're going to do that by taking the derivative of this function, plugging in an x equals 2, getting the derivative, getting the slope, and then, and then using that with this point here. So y prime is bottom. Top prime is 4x cubed minus top. Bottom prime is 4x plus 5 all over bottom squared. Okay. Now, in this case, guys, I would not multiply this guy out and expand this any further. So the question is asking me to find the equation of the line, and, and in order to do that, I need the slope. So I'm going to go ahead and plug in a y value of 2, or sorry, an x value of 2 into my derivative here. All right, so what do we get here? Uh, 2 squared is 4 times 2 is 8, plus 10 is 18. 4 times 8 is 32. 2 to the 4th minus 1 is 15. 4 times 2 is 8, plus 1 is 13, all over. 2 squared is 4 times 2 is 8, plus 10 is 18 squared. Okay. I got it from here. I'm going to go my calculator. Hit my math frack button afterwards. And we get a nasty slope of 127 over 108. Okay. So our equation can be y minus 5 sixths equals 127 over 108 x minus 2. And there's going to be our, our equation to the line for this guy over here. All right, guys. So it's kind of a quicker lesson on how the quotient, uh, the quotient law works. And let me know if you have any more questions.